Welcome to the Lindley's Project Information Management System Getting Started Tutorial Series. Report Issues In this tutorial video, we will cover the Report Issues function within PIMS. We will start with the SAM chosen and layers loaded. If you have difficulties with PIMS behaving unexpectedly or failing to function as intended, these can be easily reported to the Development and Support teams with the Report Issues button. In order to file a report and receive help or feedback, click or tap the button on the bottom right of your screen. This will open an issues form. Let's take a look at the parts of that form now. The summary block is for a single or partial sentence description of the issue. Filling out this block clearly helps ensure that the report goes to the right team member to provide you with support or feedback. For example, Let's say that we are having trouble getting a layer to appear in one of our SAMs. It's important to include key details in our brief and clear summary. This example gives support staff enough information to know that this problem should be handled by someone who deals with the layers in Telstra's HFC Cremorne service areas. Our second block is the Components Dropbox, allowing us to specify what section of the PEMS browser interface we are having issues with. By default, Unsure is selected. In this case, we know that this is a mapping issue. We'll select that option and remove Unsure. Below the Components section is the Description box. Here is where we add more key details to help support and development teams understand our problem and provide us with the best possible feedback and assistance. To help support identify what's gone wrong, we need to help them recreate the problem we are experiencing. To that end, key details such as our connection type and quality, the device we're using, and the actions we are taking are good things to include. If PIMS or your device give you an error, do not ignore it. This can be the key to solving your problem. Be sure to include the exact text of the error in your description. Immediately below the description box is a button allowing us to attach files. As an alternative to typing out any errors you see or trying to describe something such as a page loading oddly, you can take a screenshot and attach it here. If you are having issues with reporting or administrative functions like bulk imports or exports, be sure to include the files you are using and any results that PIMS gives you. The next part of our form is information about our identity. By default, this will use the login details you are using to access PIMS. If you would like your feedback to go elsewhere, click the blue linked text stating, This is not you, and be sure to include contact details in the description box. The final part of the report issues form is a checkbox allowing the report to include information about your digital environment. Selecting this will give the support team additional information that can be incredibly helpful in identifying the cause of the problem you are having, and we highly encourage you to use it. The only information that will be attached to the form from your computer is the exact link to where you are in PIMS, the part of the PIMS web system that referred you there, the browser type and update version you are on, your screen resolution, username, and user email address. No other information is sent or collected. Once we've filled out our form, we simply click the blue Submit button, and a team member will review our issue and get back to us as fast as possible. 